Okay, here we're recording, and this is a demonstration of using the simulation mode between several students or friends or instructors in this case that are in different parts of the world that have all put their boats at the same spot. Now, this is me. We're out in Port Townsend. We're out in, we're, we're actually off the coast of Port Townsend right now. And this boat, this is Toby. He happens to be across the office from me in the same building as me. This is Dave who lives here in Port Townsend about 30, 40, 40 miles from here. But on the other hand, somebody from Paris could put their boat right here. Somebody from Greece could put their boat here. And then we're all driving at the same time. You turn on the boat, you set the simulation mode, you all have to agree with each other. And then you can also, there's a way to communicate by a simulated radio. But for now, I'm just doing this because we can all hear each other. So I'm gonna just ask, let's see, who is this, Dave? Dave, can you just, for the time being, to demonstrate this, can you just turn, uh, t turn left, come around in a loop so that you like cross my path? You see me as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so just start turning left. And then we should see that. Remember, this is a simulated AIS, so there's sometimes there's a delay, not sometimes, there's always a delay in uh, getting the display. And while Dave's turning around to come over here, this is Toby, and you see what it's being displayed here. Uh, oh, we don't have, oh, Toby's predictor, we can't see. Oh, it's right there. Now, uh, his prediction, Let's go back up. I want to just demo this. I'm going to Preferences, uh, Preferences, AIS, and then it's uh, Reckoning. So I have this set. So all the AIS targets are projecting their position for three minutes in advance. So this distance from here to here. Now, there's no little dot out here. You know, maybe they'll add a dot. You see, like I've got a little green dot out here. Shows where I'm going to be in. See, I'm reckoning three minutes. So often it's helpful to have this uh, the reckoning of your own vessel set to the reckoning of the AIS vessels. It sometimes makes sense. But now these... Uh, right now, this is what this is showing is this distance is the closest point of approach, and you can change all these settings. These are red, meaning that they're less than the, the preset. I think I have it set at show, show a CPA if you're going to be less than a mile. Now, in reality, in close quarters like this, you could be doing something, doing something else. But uh, now, oh, Dave, you're still coming around. Maybe you could like turn south now and we'll watch this line change. Or I can just turn. You see, I can just turn left here a little bit like that and how that will affect everything. And this is Toby. Toby, turn right. Uh, Toby, this is Toby's boat. Turn right and go off, you know, up towards like Admiralty Inlet or something. Yeah, keep going. And you see, here's the, here's the interaction between us. This is, okay, now there's the closest point of approach, but it's gone back to, it's no longer a collision warning, so it's gone back to blue. And blue means a simulated, a simulated target. Other targets in here will be yellow, and I, strangely, we don't actually see any other real targets. I'm seeing you, well, let me zoom out and see if there's any real tra AIS traffic in there at the moment. Uh, I see some, yeah. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it at the moment, but I'm gonna let that go. Uh, I've got the wind showing, I'm gonna hide the wind. We don't need to, I think we're all under engine at the moment. But anyway, that's the, that's the example I wanted to show of how you can get together with a group of people or a class, an entire class, or people, friends in Europe or other parts of the world, and you can all meet up in the same harbor and drive your boats around and practice uh, AIS uh, uh, collision avoidance avoidance and, thing, and things like that. So I'll stop here and I'll tack this on to another, another video. Thank you. Okay, so here now we, to do a test to illustrate an important point. Oh, there you go, Toby, your name's on the boat. So now yeah. we've moved the boat down into Seattle area where there's a lot more traffic. So you see here is three simulated boats. Here's me coming down here. Here's Toby headed that way. And here's Dave coming this way. And here is a real boat 
We don't, I don't know yet who it is, but it's a real boat coming down. Um, uh, it says it's re registered in Alaska. But now let me just show something. So I'm going to stop the simulation. I'm going to stop my simulation, option S, option S. Now what I'm going to do is go in here to QT VLM preferences. And now I'm going to NEMA instruments. And then a network, there's nothing there, local. Now what I'm going to do is turn on live AIS that we have an antenna on our roof, OK, and start the NEMA. So there's a real NEMA signals coming in. So here is the first thing that we want to note. So when, just as a matter of safety here, you see here is the real guy coming down. He's coming from, a, well, it's coming from Alaska or something. It's a boat that's moving, uh, show tracking data. He's going 9.6 knots. We don't know his name yet. We have to kind of track for probably six minutes to get any more information. But the important, the important thing I want to show here is that this simulation that we're doing does nowhere show up to real boats. So you don't have, even though we can interact with real boats, we can get a closest point of approach, we can get alarms going off, we can get everything like that. But they do not see it, we are not there, they do not see us, there is no risk to real navigation. So look at this picture again, here's me, it looks like I'm drifting. Uh, let me just check something once, corrections, there's no current. I don't know why I'm moving, actually. Or maybe that's a track before I stop. Anyway, so here's what the real world looks like. There's boats in the marina with their, with their uh, uh, the anchor ball on. These guys are reporting moored, and they're at the dock. And there'll be more show up as time goes by. And here's this real vessel coming in, and we don't, and we don't know its name yet. We don't know its name yet, but it's a real boat. Now, let me stop the NEMA. Let me stop the NEMA and turn on the simulation. Uh, control S. OK. So now we're doing the simulation. And then uh, now we start seeing um, uh, the real boat's not there yet, but he, these. Oh, the real boat is Maritime Instructor. Maritime Instructor? <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> It's a good thing that maritime instruction got out of our way <laughs> because we're trying to do some maritime instruction here. Okay, good. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, so anyway, here's Toby, simulated Toby. Maritime instructor did not know Toby's up there. And here comes Dave W. down from Port Townsend right here, our simulated and boats. It looks like you can distinguish the simulated AIS targets from the little wedge shape at the back end of the boats versus a flat back. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, that's another point. The simulated boats uh, have a, uh, like a chevron in the back, a, a V-shape, and the real boats, well, no, that's not, look at the real boats in the lobby, in the, not the lobby, in the, uh, oh, yeah, some of them yeah. It, it could be that just once they switch over to having the, this green means they have the full information. They've been there long enough that we know their, their voyage data and their, st and their uh, dynamic, their static data. Um, so, but anyway, there's a follow-up to illustrate this really amazing, powerful training tool that's incorporated into QTVLM. And I'm going to stop there. I'm just going to add this to the last video.